Okay, winter's here, and we're picking strawberries. It finally snowed. We finally got our first frost, which is pretty exciting. I want to show you the technique of, of picking strawberries, because if you do it wrong, you will miss ripe berries. So I like to do it this way, and some people think it's a little bit weird, and it is, but here's what I do. So I have my container here, and then we just, we're just going to start right here, but I grab the plant, and I'll just pull the whole plant over like this and that, like this, but it it opens up the area for these big gorgeous berries and then I can see them and then I always like to know what's happening I don't do anything except observe but see here's a, a blossom here's baby berry um, berries that are you know they're growing and so I know I'm gonna have more now that I hit that side over now I'm gonna knock this side over like that and then I knock this side over I rake this side over here's berries right here. Look at that big boy. So that's pretty exciting to have a huge berry. A mouse has been chewing it right there. So this is a big perfect berry, but it's not sellable if we were selling because a mouse has chewed it. So this one right here, that's not ready to pick. But this one is because it's all red. So we want to get the all red ones. So we just throw the entire plant over, pull this over, push that over, and I've exposed one right here. So there's that gorgeous one. So we're getting some good ones in here. But if you don't push them over, then you don't see them. Sometimes people will come out here and they'll just look, they'll just kind of go, well, I don't know where they are, I can't see one, and they're doing this. It doesn't work. You have to, you have to push them back because those berries will be hiding down inside and I think it helps to stimulate the berries to do better if you're a little bit rough with the plants so I like to do it quick I like to do it a little bit rough I like to not be gentle I'm never gentle with my with my plants unless it's a little tiny seedling or something but okay, here's a nice beauty so we're getting some. This is exciting. So the ground is white with snow out on the mountain today. It's pretty great. The snow outside the greenhouse melted yesterday. So this is wonderful to have snow and frost outside and inside the greenhouse. We're still having a beautiful, glorious harvest. I just picked the biggest strawberry maybe I have ever grown. Look how huge this is. That is gigantic. It's so great. Okay, the other thing that I want to show you about picking the strawberries, as soon as we find the next one I'll show you, is the way you actually pick it. So, here's one that needs to be harvested. So I hold it in my hand and then I put my thumbnail against the stem and I give it a little prick like that so it comes off. You should have a stem on your strawberry when you pick it. If you just pull it off, it disrupts the where the stem is hooked into the, the fruit. And if you're going to eat them right away, that's fine. But if you're going to have any kind of shelf life, I'm going to do this one the wrong way. See what happens when you pull it the wrong way? Now this will deteriorate and rot. That's not a saleable berry. So when you pick them, always pick them with your fingernail. Like I just did those two. So that's the proper way to pick a strawberry. You don't want to just pull them off. Okay, hopefully this helps you to have your own strawberry patch.